Hey Leo, how are you? Welcome back to Carmelite Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma, and this is going to be for Leo Any Placement. It is June 2022, but as I always tell you guys, energy is fluid and it really just depends on where you're at on your journey. So you may resonate with this as a past situation, current situation, or you might start to see this manifest anywhere between now and the next three months, depending on where you're at on your journey. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. If at any time you guys, you do resonate with this reading, please go ahead and hit the like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. My blessing and prayer. If you're interested in a personal reading, um, the links are in the description box below. Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Leo in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what karmic cycles, generational curses, and soul lessons Leo may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. Leo, I see you being like, I don't know if it's numbers specifically maybe, you're like preoccupied by numbers, but you, you have a lot on your mind, but it seems very um, organized and art, like very articulate, like you have everything in a specific point. But the way that spirit was just showing me, what they were showing me was like a really nicely organized, uh, like different tabs or views of a computer screen, but you have a lot going on. And I see you kind of swiping like, okay, is this in order? Okay, that's in order. Swipe, okay, is this, you know what I mean? So I don't know what you're, if you're creating something, but it, it seems like you're on to something really big and you're just trying to get it all puzzle pieced together. All right, you have the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles in the past. You're about your money. So this could be something that you're trying to create as well. Um, in the past, current energy, though, right now is the Four of Cups, Lovers, and the Three of Pentacles. Lovers is dead center in your reading here. You have the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Chariot, Cancer energy here, Gemini energy um, those are for the near future. On the bottom of the deck, Leo, we have the two of pentacles. A lot of pentacles could be dealing with an earth sign as well. You have king of pentacles. So you have the two, the king, and the six of pentacles. The four of swords, the world, death and rebirth, the hierophant, page of cups, ace of wands, ace of cups. Um, please give me the words for what I just saw. First of all, you have a massive idea. This is a business idea. This is a creative idea. This is an idea that you're, I'm talking about generational wealth. I'm talking about shifting the bank account of a family for years to come with what I just saw. There's a whole life transition taking place, Leo. So let me tell you what I'm seeing here. Two of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. For a long time, you've get, been going back and forth on some type of idea or investment. You, that's what I'm saying. You were swiping. Is this is this checking out? And, and you've got something down to a T. Like you have micromanaged something here to the point of no return. And, and I feel like this, this um, energy right here, because this is a six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your idea, your investment. This is you establishing yourself. 
not just establishing yourself, your soul, your where you're going. This is you. You're putting a mark on the map. You're you're making sure that you're making your mark here on this planet because it's like wow when pigs fly you had some type of idea whatever idea you got leo it is from the divine you have been awakened there's some type of direct connection taking place right now in regards to creative um abundance new beginnings and I feel like this is something that's been in you for a while, possibly from childhood. But while you were waiting for this to happen or while this idea came, you had to go on a pause here because I see you healing from a lot of trauma and then stepping through the portal to your new life here with death and rebirth. Okay, so this is the overall energy on the bottom. So you may have been going through um, miniature awakenings throughout this journey and you're about to have one more big massive one it's probably going to be around lion's gate portal for you now that i'm thinking this is leo okay so just get ready for that big big shifts taking place um in the recent past page of pentacles five of pentacles seven of pentacles it's just like what i'm seeing here you have this idea and it has to do with an investment um so I'm going to assume some type of entrepreneurial idea, what you want to do with your life. Again, making your mark, Leo. But you had to come up with this great idea and then to test your faith, God put you in a space of lack where you lost everything. Um, and the key was for you to see how the keys here, what you needed to figure out and realize in this darkness, Leo, when everything, everything that you thought that was going to come with you got taken away from you in the past. And the reason why it got taken away from you is because the key in that five of pentacles was for you to learn patience during growth. God was trying to teach you a lesson that I heard you, you've planted your seed, you're in the darkness right now. Do you trust me that it's going to grow? And that was the key to getting out of it, right? Because the key here, page of pentacles, was the idea. God doesn't give us inspiration or an idea for it to not actually be doable. It's always doable. It just determines our faith. Because once we get an inspiration or an idea, Leo, who comes to take it away from us? The devil. It's like the book of Job. We have to just know the book of Job. <laughs> my grandmother really pounded the book of Job into my head growing up. Um, and I am a firm believer that we experience trials like Job did continuously. And it's always a test of our faith and the greater our blessings get, um, you know, after we keep defeating these, these tests of faith, these tests, you know, that Satan brings us. Um, I also feel like this period of lack or where you were in a, law, a state of, you know, your faith was being challenged, your dreams were being challenged, and you were wondering how, it was uh, an important time for you to cultivate more. Because you did. You got a little bit more creative in those dark times, in those painful times. And then you're able to utilize that darkness, that pain, right, to fuel, to feed the roots, to have more growth. More abundance is on its way. Your harvest is on its way current energy you have the four of cups the lovers and the three of pentacles i feel like your love life and your work life leo may be tied together okay there's something here about like a work love collab or like a collaboration or bringing together a family's you know, and some of this love that I'm feeling with lovers could also just be platonic, like, you know, friendship love. There is intimate love in it as well. I feel like you're in a state of discontentment, though, right now with relationships um, because you've been so bored in the past. Okay, you've been bored in the past when it comes to certain relationships because really what's happening here is you're ascending you're evolving so your frequency your vibration is is rising you're not going to be attracted to the types of relationships and people that you once were and so this this period of time right now where you're just feeling like hmm about relationships and and you you have it you feel like you have a decision to make 
in love. But I feel like the reason why you're discontent is because you think you have to make a decision and you don't. You just need to keep weaving together the, the storyline, the pieces that are coming to you from the divine and then everything else will fall into place. Holy Spirit, clarify the Four of Cups and the Lovers, please, for Leo. Clarify the Four of Cups. Four of Wands, the Maze, and the Queen of Wands with Death card. Whoever this person is, again, it's like a work love situation and you're con confused about it or you think something is missing. You wonder if there's a missed opportunity or how is this all going to play out? You may live with this person. I don't know why I feel like that, Leo, but you may live with this person. Um, or not, maybe you did at one point because you have the four of wands or you may be moving with this person. Anywho, there's a past life connection here, a past life spiritual connection that you're aware of. This is not something that you're not aware of and you feel it because you have past lives in the swan. The swan is the high priestess. There's psychic energy taking place between the two of you. Um, you do know that you've known this person from previous lives. You may not have an understanding fully why yet or you just know it's there. Um, you have temperance. There's something very healing about this connection. But why is it causing you confusion? Here you have the Queen of Wands. Again, I, uh, with the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, it's like um, a work thing. This could also be yourself, maybe. So this could also be yourself, Leo, with the Queen of Wands, but it's more about finding peace, finding home within yourself, aligning with yourself, the maze that it's taken for you to step into your power here, okay? You know, it's like... I know what it is. This whole time you you were going through this maze, this journey, Leo, thinking that you were looking for something specific, maybe in a love connection or that it was this person or however it plays out. But you were on this journey specifically because of this love connection and it ended up leading you back home. And home is to yourself. And I feel like that's where this Four of Cups is. is it took, you didn't realize that. You're like, what? Because you're in this energy now where relationships are kind of on the back burner for you because you've got something bigger brewing here that you're investing into yourself. And I think there's this, this, um, this passion, this fight, this fire that's coming out of you, Leo, where you see where you can go if you don't have disruptions. Like I'm feeling the energy get pumped up inside of me, where if you're in this vibe, in this flow, and you're in sync, and you don't have someone else to come in and collide, you could just keep going. And who knows how far you can go? You know what I'm saying? And so, but there's also this energy currently of you kind of being sad about it, because some of you are wondering, does this mean that, like, what does that mean for my love life? Like, I think a lot of you are kind of shocked that you're wanting to put it on the back burner. But see what spirit is saying, because then you have shapeshifter here, is whatever this connection is, whether it leaves or whether it stays, right, the physicalness of that connection, so the person, whether that person leaves or that person stays, the energy of what it is, right? Because we get attached to people and places. We get attached to physical things. No, 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 get attached to the energy. Whatever happens, spirit's saying, go with the flow because that energy will shape shift physically into whatever it is that you need. That energy will stay there and be there, but it's gonna 
transfer to the next person that's at your level or the next situation. So if this person leaves and you're worried like, what, what if I don't do this right now and I'm gonna miss this opportunity? No opportunity that is for you will miss you. The energy will just be transferred to someone or something that's of the same frequency of you because you're ascending, okay? In the near future, you have the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Chariot. There seems to be some type of anxiety about different options, opportunities, choices. It's a decision that needs to be made and feeling like it needs to be made quickly. No, I also feel like this is where you were having anxiety about which avenue you need to go, right? Wh which way you need to pick to stay in the flow. All of a sudden, this white bird, you it's like you gain that clarity. This darkness clears away and you're able to see very, very clearly what to do, how to do it, the proper decisions to make. Clarify the Nine of Swords, please, and the Seven of Cups for Leo. You could be moving, like physically moving, changing locations. The High Priestess, past lives again. And the Nine of Swords with the Four of Cups again. Why are you letting this? But you know. Oh, no, no. It's like I said. You you come out of the worry. See how she's got her arrow up and she's about to get the bird? Just like here, there was one white bird in that nine of swords. So intuitively... Somewhere, here's what I saw happen. Then you have the Four of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you have some type of revelation here, with the, and that's the Nine of Wands, where in this moment of anxiety, you all of a sudden recognize the cycle that you're putting yourself in. You're like, I'm just continuously worrying about a decision. It's either yes or no. What do I want to do? I'm going to go for it. Like, that's what I'm seeing, because the chariot is go for it. It's either yes or no, Leo. It's either yes or no, right? And we all start at no. So, and, and that's what happens. You, you, you're putting too much anxiety, too much stress on a certain uh, outcome or decision, but you already know deep inside your intuition's been telling you. For some of you, this, is what, this was about you, Leo, trying to figure out the difference between your ego and your intuition because you had a lot of darkness that you had to clear out because of like traumas and situations you've been through so you've been kind of like navigating in your energy like this and you're like is this my intuition no that's a lie is this my intuition no that's a lie that's what i'm seeing like someone's really trying to hone in on their on that vibe on that energy of where god is sending messages and that's what happens and that's when you make your decision and you just you go you just go holy spirit closing messages please like there's no more confusion you see it clearly and you get on on the road literally with the chariot closing messages please for leo higher power. It's like I said, you're literally trying to connect direct. You have like ET phone home, like direct connection here. Higher power. See the key? And I was talking about the key in the five of pentacles and the key now is right where the third eye is. Number four, right? That's God's number. All right, let's read this for you. Leo. Higher power, conscious contact with the higher power. I can't make this up. The presence of the divine. 
seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with the Holy Spirit. This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask, what is the highest good for all and how can I serve? Then get out of your own way and trust that there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You are always protected and divinely directed. It's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power called God, Holy Spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution. I told you this. Tend to your spiritual connections and remain aware of your true nature. Leo, this is big. Sometimes your work just flows through you. Ideas come rushing in and inspiration bubbles up from a wellspring you couldn't even know you could access. When you enter agreements, begin projects, or negotiate deals with Holy Spirit as your partner, you will always succeed. Let your higher power lead. The synchronicities and intuitive nudges you feel will help you see which way you are being pointed, giving you confidence to move forward in the right direction. Don't forget to always give credit where it is due. You wouldn't be a success without the Holy Spirit's guidance. Humility will serve you well when this symbol appears. Leo. You are connected. You are connected to a higher power. You have really big things coming to you. This was all a test of your faith. You know what you have, this idea, this whatever is churning inside of you. It's a gift from God. And you just need to go with it. You just need to let yourself go with it. Stop worrying about it. Because like I said, you are, I'm going to name this ET phone home because you are, you are connected. You're there. All right, Leo, sending you much love.